Hello friends and welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are making our first Harry Potter soap. So we're going to start out the same as we always do, get our oils, butters, and additives mixed together, and then add in our lye. This will be split into three different colors. Our first color is some titanium dioxide that has been dispersed in water. We have emerald green from Nurture Soap and we have cashmere from Nurture Soap. We are using Breezes and Sunshine by Nature's Garden. In with the green. Okay, so I do want this to set up. I want to layer it with, you know, with that side. This cake beveler layer sculptor tool. So let's go ahead and use our little cake tool and make it look like it's the layer of grass. So the goal of this soap is to have it look like you are looking down onto the Quidditch field from the snitches, I guess, point of view. Point, from the, yeah, yeah. So I have, a bunch of gold, well, I guess a, a bunch of soap dough that I rolled around in some gold mica. And this is probably King's Tuck Gold Mica from um, Mad Micas. And these are going to kind of look like the blungers. Bl blungers? Oh my gosh, what? Is it blungers or. You know what I mean. Perfect. So that took a while to set up. So our next layer will be blue, which will kind of represent a layer of just the regular blue sky. And I think I'm just going to kind of spoon that on like this. Now I will kind of flat, it doesn't really matter if it's a, f a straight line. That's not what we're going for. I just wanted a layer of blue before we do the next layer. I've mixed some of my blue in with my white to kind of look like some sky and some clouds. And we're just going to put this on top. I'm gonna scrape out my bowl and I will bring you back when it is time to do our frosting and finish up the soap. So all I'm going to do is three dollops on each bar. Each bar will get a gold gum drop, which we will stick on first. So I'm curious how many Harry Potter fans there are out there. I was pleasantly surprised when I realized I wasn't the only person my age that loved Harry Potter. So I did not watch Harry Potter when it first came out. I was, 
I don't know, I, I, maybe I was too old, I don't know, I wasn't, but I was in my cool teenage years and couldn't be bothered with kid stuff. That's exactly what it is. So, I started watching the movie. I, I, I watched the movie first, the first one, when my daughter, who is now 10, was being treated in the hospital for, she had stage four brain cancer when she was little. So, how are we going to do these to where they don't get ruined by packaging? Hmm. Well, let's we'll figure something out with packaging. So anyway, so Sarah was in the hospital. Um, she had stage four cancer when she was diagnosed when she was eight months old. And so I had a lot of time on my hands, unfortunately. So me and my two other kids who would go up, you know, were with her every day, we would always go to the library and pick out things to read, movies to watch, things like that. Um, it's a long day sitting in the hospital all the time. So I like to find things that were series, you know, something that you could watch and it wasn't just over with one movie or, you know, reading just one book. I love this series. So I started watching a Harry Potter movie and I loved it. And before you know it, I was, you know, just kind of obsessed. <laughs> and that wasn't until she was in the hospital in 2011. Yeah, 2011. Just, so um, that's how I got into it. So my daughter, she's, you know, she's 10 now. She's been cancer free for quite a while uh, since she was a year and a half old and she will be 11 in May. So in less than two months, she'll be 11. So we are very lucky that she is okay. But I think that's kind of another reason why I liked Harry Potter. It just, it, I came into it during a really bad time and I just fell in love with it. And it was just kind of a way to just escape for a little bit. Just get lost in the book or, you know, I think I may have watched probably half. I, I watched, I bet, half the movies before I ever read the book. But once I started reading one of them, I just couldn't get enough. So yeah, these are, um, these wings are, uh, are, 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 I think backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> I guess that'll be okay. So I do remember when I was a kid, I had a stepbrother who went to see the first Harry Potter movie when it came out in the movie theater. And gosh, he, he was, I don't know, maybe seven or eight. And he was a little boy with freckles. You know, he had his freckles and he had red hair and he just came home so like mad. He's like, why couldn't I be Ron? I look just like him. <laughs> and he was, he was obsessed for a little bit, but he kind of grew out of it. All right, so let's put a little bit of some sparkle sunshine, fairy dust on there. Just, just a, oh yeah. These fairy dusters don't work great for me, so sorry for the tapping. That looks good. All right, so I'm just going to spray it with rubbing alcohol. And I'll be back in a couple days and we will take a look at what this looks like inside. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. So I am super excited to see what the inside of these bars look like. Here is our little sneak peek. Well, let's go ahead and get our cutter. Ooh. 
And here's our first bar. I like it. You really are looking from the golden snitches view. So you have the golden snitch, the clouds. Below the clouds is a mix of maybe some sky and clouds. Just the sky, because the clouds are up higher. The bloods are going through the air, and then the grass. And I think these turned out super neat. I don't know how I'm going to package them with these wings, but we will just have to figure that out. shrink wrap my soaps and if you shrink wrap something that's so thin it breaks it in half but we'll figure it out so thank you everyone so much for watching these will be available for purchase on May 2nd along with all of our other Harry Potter soaps, if it is something you are interested in. And we will see you next time. Bye.